Today we're going to go over how to crimp a wire. There are many different types of methods to join the ends of two wires together. In this case, we're going to make it look like this, which is called a butt connection. And these are called, logically, butt connectors. So there are different types of connectors, and we'll review those in a minute. But we're going to be using these uh, adhesive lined heat shrink connectors made by a company called Molex and they're kind of the high-end connector and this is what we use on all our vehicles emergency vehicles that come through our shop so the goal is to get uh, the two ends of two wires joined together for with electric continuity and permanency in the joint so what tools are we going to need here of course we're going to need our adhesive lined heat shrink crimp connectors of the appropriate size uh, they are color coded so red is 18 to 22 gauge. In this case, this is an 18 gauge wire that we're gonna be working with. Uh, this blue color is 14 to 16. And then this yellow color is 10 to 12 gauge. And it's written right on there, but the uh, crimp connector colors are also correlated to the appropriate color dot. Uh, so you use the right pair of jaws on the crimper. Jaws. We also need a good quality wire stripper, a nice good quality sharp wire stripper, and we will need the crimpers that we just showed you, and we will need a heat gun. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything special, just a good quality, decent quality heat gun. Uh, this, this is metal inside the connector, uh, and that's the part you're going to crimp. There's a little indent on it. Hopefully you can see there. Uh, that's a little wall almost inside that connector. So you can't push the wire all the way through. You can push the wire in until it hits that little indent there. And then, uh, and then the wire will stop. So ideally what you want when you, as far as stripping wire off, uh, you want to make sure that it's long enough to go hit that indent plus a little bit more. Uh, if you strip the wire too short, for example, if I was only to strip the wire to here, then, then you run the risk of crimping on the insulation rather than on the copper. So I'd rather have a little bit more. You can always cut this off shorter too, but I'd rather have this stripped back a little bit more because it's still going to be well hidden under the heat shrink jacket. So, and be aware if you use this, the jaws, the jaws are actually offset to one side. You can get these in single or double crimp models, uh, and there are different, but we're using an Encore product here, an Encore crimper. Um, but there are Encore, there are different brands of crimpers, of course, and then there are single and double crimp. Um, you use single crimp if you're using insulated terminals like this. If this doesn't have any plastic on it for insulation, then you'd use a double. But we don't want to puncture the insulation, so we're using a single crimp. Um, version. These are ratcheting, so they have a bit of extra leverage to them you can see down here. Uh, so it makes it easier to crimp it. This little tooth at the end, if you can call it a tooth, it kind of goes up into that goes up into that jaw there. And so it, it's, it's a hard stop, so you can't over crimp these. The other thing is they have a latch on them, so it won't allow you to release the crimp until you've crimped them far enough. So you can't under crimp them either. But these tools are are not super expensive um, and they're well worth the money. Uh, okay, so here we are putting the red crimp into the red connector. Um, key is to make sure the wire doesn't fall out at this point because once you crimp this, that crimp is, you can't go back. We can't go back. So I'm crimping it all the way closed. Again, it won't let me over or under crimp it. And then release. So there you go, there's your crimp. We didn't. We didn't break through the casing, the insulation, and I can't easily pull it out. Okay, so what I've done here is I've just placed this uh, other wire in. I haven't crimped it. I've just inserted it in to the connector, and I'm not going to crimp it because I want to demonstrate to you the uh, adhesive. You can actually see the adhesive liquefying inside, and it's coming out the end a little bit, which is a good sign. We want it to smush out the end a little bit. So that's done. So I'm going to move to the other end now. Careful, this is hot, obviously, so make sure you don't get your fingers in the way. 
Now my heat gun's warmed up. You can see how quickly that shrinks. And keep going until you see the adhesive smush out the ends. So if you look really closely there, uh, you can actually see the adhesive squish out the end. And it's a little bit tacky. Now that adhesive is still going to be quite liquid at this point uh, for probably about a minute. So I'm not going to go yanking on it yet. But remember, I haven't crimped this, but I'll give it a pull in a minute here and you can see how, how strong it is. The adhesive holds the wire so that it can't easily be pulled out in case the wire gets snagged on something. Uh, and then the fact that the, ad, that the jacket shrinks around the wire and seals it with that adhesive means that this is now an airtight uh, conductor in here. As you can see, once the heat gun warmed up, it only takes a few seconds per end. So usually it's crimp, crimp, heat shrink, heat shrink, and you're done in under a minute. Just to tell you about, a little bit about why we use these connectors, uh, the, these connectors are the only ones that the Yacht Manufacturing Association in North America allows if it's a crimp connector it's the heat shrink adhesive ones they those are the only ones that they allow they don't allow the use of these crimp only ones for the reasons that we've discussed uh, now granted the emergency vehicles we work on are not yachts but they're both mission critical uh, items and we feel that it's worth the extra expense uh, in terms of cost the heat shrink adhesive connectors are usually between two and four times the cost of those. Now it doesn't seem like a lot when these are 10 cents and these are 30 cents, for example, or 35 cents. Uh, but when you're using a hundred of them on a vehicle or a number similar to that, uh, it can really add up. So uh, we don't feel it's worth the savings of five or $10 uh, on to use these crimp connectors. We'd rather take the extra time and spend the extra few dollars and use these ones for longevity of the vehicle. Anybody can use these and have it work for a few minutes or a few months or maybe even a few years. They're sure there's a lot of upfitters that would argue with me that these are fine and they've been using them for 20 years with no issues, but there's a lot of variables. And the same thing goes with the crimping tool. Uh, a lot of people use pliers and they've done them for 20 years and they're fine, but for consistency, for every crimp, for every installer, for every vehicle, uh, we choose to just use the extra safety measure and use a proper ratcheting crimp tool. How many times do I have to tell you the right tool for the right job? Okay, so now that this is cooled, uh, just a quick review. Uh, we've crimped one end, but not this end. You can see there's no crimp in that end. And we've heat shrunk both of them. So now I'm going to try and pull that wire out. So you can see by my hand here, I was exerting some fairly significant force on that wire. And uh, you can hopefully it'll focus here. You can see that it didn't move. I'm probably putting 20 pounds of force on that wire and uh, I can't get it out. And that's not the crimp. That's just strictly the adhesive. I hope you would agree that these are worth the extra money and the extra few minutes of time. So when you look at upfitters and some are more expensive than others, uh, this is the little details that make the difference. As in many industries, it's the little details that make the difference. So that's how you crimp a wire, or at least how we do it. How we do it! And uh, there you go. You'll end up with a professional product that will outlast the vehicle. Thanks for watching.